From the first to the last day of members of parliament debating Macron's proposed pension reform, the French National Assembly saw the most turbulent debate in years, and the outcome remains unclear. <coughs> Do you think we're going to spend 15 days like this in the chamber? MPs had 10 days to examine the bill, but tensions were evident from the beginning as members of parliament are divided on the reform which aims to raise the minimum retirement age from 62 to 64. Debate was paused after France unbowed MP Thomas Porte tweeted a picture of him standing on a football with a photo of the Labour minister's head on it. The move led to his exclusion for 15 days. Seven days in, the French Labour Minister was targeted again by another France unbowed MP. You are responsible for these political choices. You are an imposter and a murderer. The insults caused uproar, with National Rally leader Marine Le Pen condemning the MP's behaviour. This verbal escalation has been going on for a week, and I think it may be reaching its peak today. On Thursday, lawmakers debated amendments related to Article 2 out of the 20 articles in the bill. The legislative process could last several weeks, and with thousands of amendments remaining, it's unlikely if they will reach Article 7, which allows the change of retirement age from 62 to 64. The Assembly's deadline is Friday evening at midnight, after which the pension bill will move on to the Senate whether or not the lower house has completed its debate. Meanwhile, out on the streets, the union leaders are calling for the biggest nationwide strike, planned for the 7th of March, where they hope to bring France to a standstill.